everyone. I'm just waiting for the safari kids to get back to help me chop some of these vegetables. I'm gonna make a vegetable stew and some soup. <laughs> oh, look, here they are. <laughs> Hello, all of you. Oh, hey, Harry. What's wrong with you? I don't know, Chef Jeff. I think I've been working too hard. I feel very tired. What he means is, he played soccer for an hour at school today. And then, after school, he and Solomon had to go around picking up all the litter as punishment for not doing their homework. Mm. Oh, thanks, Yoli, for telling everyone. I don't think Yoli's being mean. Anyways, it's good to pick up the litter. Those children at school can be so untidy. I was only saying why Harry was so tired. I just don't have any energy. Well, I've got just the thing. Ta-da! These apples will bring your energy back. How will an apple make Harry less tired? Well, uh, let's see, um... Okay, what gives a card's energy? You mean, what makes it go? Mm. Mm. Petrol? Ugh, you're not going to give me petrol, are you? <laughs> no, but you see, petrol is the fuel that a car needs to make it go. And, and food is the fuel that our bodies need to make them go. So, Hattie's like a car? I always knew there was something strange about him. What, what? What's going on? They're not going to give Harry petrol to drink, are they? Humans can't drink petrol. It's poison. And why do they think he's a car? He doesn't need fuel. I'm very confused. What, what? You see, we all need energy. Our bodies use the food we eat to make the fuel, and that fuel gives us energy. Scientists call both food and petrol chemical energy. There are lots of different forms of energy in the world. Oh, good. So now I can go home and eat lots of chocolate cake. Uh, no. You see, some foods make for better sources of energy than others, and that apple will give you lots of energy. Enough energy for you to... Uh, do your homework tonight. <laughs> what was that? It was only the door blowing closed. The wind has been very strong. The wind has lots of energy. Very true, Solomon. In fact, wind is one source of energy. What do you mean? Well, when the wind blows, it, it can make things move. Hey, that's true. So wind is energy? Well, it's a, it's a type of movement energy. Energy affects things that makes them move or change. Oops, the water on the stove is starting to boil. What's the water for, Chef Jeff? I'm going to make a vegetable stew and some soup. Mm, I just need to cut up some of these vegetables. We'll help. <laughs> OK. OK, here's some knives. There we go. One for you, one for you. So, Harry, has that apple given you enough energy to help us cut the vegetables? Yes, look, I can get right through this big pumpkin. <laughs> Be careful. So, are we using energy now to cut these vegetables? Oh, yes, you are. What kind of energy? OK, well, think about it, huh? And you too. So when you're busy cutting the vegetables, what's doing the work? The knife. No, oh, the knife is just a tool. Mm. Your hand? Oh, something is making your hand move. Do you know what it is? Your muscles. Yes, well done. So what kind of energy are you using when you're busy cutting vegetables? Muscle energy. Yes, almost. Uh, movement energy, to be exact. I'm using so much movement energy, I'm getting hot. That's interesting. You see, Harry is using movement energy to cut the pumpkin. And that energy is being transferred into heat energy. That's why I'm sweating. Energy is always being transformed from one kind of energy to another. It never disappears. It just changes from one form to another. So, there's energy everywhere, but I can't see it. No, you can't see it, because energy is invisible. But you can see the knife cutting the pumpkin. Oh, yes, you can see the effects of energy, but you can't see the energy itself. We need energy to make things happen. In fact, there's energy all around us. You've got stored energy in your bodies. <laughs> and you see that water boiling? You see how the water's moving around and bubbling up and down? That movement comes from heat energy. Heat energy? Yes. The electricity makes this hot plate on the stove hot. And because the pot of water is sitting on top of a hot plate, it makes the water hot. So it's heat energy. It's very clever. Yes, it is. 
In fact, the electricity coming into the stove is energy. And when it's heating up the plate, it's transferring that electrical energy into another type of energy, heat energy. We also transfer electric energy into light energy. Hey, Mavin! Ah, Mavin! Hey, have you washed the clothes today? Mmm, no, I haven't. Good! Uh, why? Well, because I've got a surprise for you. Hey, what is it? <laughs> I've bought a washing machine. I <gasps> saw how washing all those clothes every week makes you sweaty and tired. So I thought you'd like a washing machine to do the work. Ha, hey. That's a very nice thought, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very nice brother. Hmm, there's only one problem. What's that? We don't have electricity. We don't have what? Electricity. What do we need that for, Mevin? Hey, we need electricity to make the washing machine work. Mm. How do you think it works? Uh, can't we just press the start button? No. You mm. plug the cable into the electricity supply mm. so the machine can use the electricity to work. Oh, so you can't use this machine without electricity? Mm -mm. No. Oh. Nice thought. But you know what would be a nicer thought, Marvin? What? If you help me with the washing every week, you lazy meerkat! Okay, everyone, here we are, have some soup. Looks delicious, Jeff. Mm. And it'll give you enough energy to pick up all the litter around the school tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for the soup, Jeff. Actually, we should thank energy for the soup. Without the electricity going to the hot plate, making the water boil so you can cook the vegetables, all we would have today is vegetables and cold water. <laughs> Very true, Sabita. Energy high, it's what makes the airplanes fly. Energy is what moves all things. What moves a car? Energy. What cooks your food? Energy. What grows the leaves? Energy. What keeps you warm? Energy. And can you see it? Can you see it? Understand. They were not going to feed petrol to Harry. They were saying that Harry needs food for energy, like a car needs petrol. Now I understand. Mm -hmm. And I know that energy is all around us, even though I can't see it. It is always being transformed from one kind of energy to another. What, what? What a lot of land. Mm. Well, I think we learned a lot today, huh? Yeah, we have. Mm. I wonder how many other forms of energy you can find that you need in your lives every day. See you soon. Bye! Bye. Yes, 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 invisible, invisible, invisible.
invisible.